So the intro sets of IELTS speaking. May I know your full name? Yes, my name is Vikram Verma. All right. Okay. So my first tip to you here is that you have 11 to 14 minutes to tell the examiner that you have English in you. You have 11 to 14 minutes to show the examiner that you have English in you. Now, if you will stop after speaking one line and wait now, okay, sir, now it is your turn. My turn is over. Then it will be, you will be wasting your precious time which you have to show your level of English. Right, Vikrant? So my first okay. tip to all of you is keep on speaking till the examiner throws the next question at you. You get my point? Till the yes, examiner throws the next question up at you. Now, you ask me uh, my name and I'll tell you how to reply. Okay, um, what is your full name? My full name is Kiran Preet Kaur. Kiran Preet means a ray of light. Kaur is the community to which I uh, belong. And uh, this name has been given by my grandfather. My mother tells me that the first alphabet was taken from the holy book. And then my grandfather gave this name. This name has been my identity for the last 64 years. I am proud of my name. It brings in positive feelings within me. See, I have made a cue card out of that question. Right? Okay. Till the examiner throws the next question at you, you have to go on speaking. Right? Okay. okay. How, how may I address you? You can address me, Vikran. As uh, most of the, my friends also call me Vicky, which is my nickname. May I see your ID? Yes, so sure. here it is. Okay, so you open your passport and uh, uh, with that, uh, you know, name on it, that page and uh, uh, hand okay. it over to the examiner. Show it to the examiner. Here is my passport identity. Here is my passport. Okay? okay. Where do you come from? Well, I have been born and brought up in beautiful but small town, which is situated in Punjab. That is Bhakta Nangal Dam. It, uh, it is situated on the Shwalik Hills with the population of 70 to 80,000. And there is basically two uh, major government companies. One is NFL, which stands for National Fertilizer Limited. And other is BBMB, which stands for Bhakta okay. Gas good. Management Board. Very good. Very good. Very good. So you've ca caught what I said, right? All yes. right. So next set of questions, who would like to answer? Come on. All right, tell me. Okay, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, what work do you do? I currently apply in a con in a company called Provident Research, and the company okay. is okay. Yes. And Go then on. I'm currently working as a software engineer. We have I develop an application for the startup and then bank application to solve the financial. All right. And then to uh, you like your job. I'm fond of my job because it gave me opportunity to learn new things every day and to also meet a lot of people from different backgrounds. Um in addition, it also the salary is not that bad. It's pretty well. It's salary, not salary. Salary, okay? Salary. Uh is it is your job very interesting? Yeah, my job is, yes, my job is interesting, personally to me, because it's touched almost all the sectors. As, and then looking at the advancement in technologies, my what job actually... Uh, repeat your second sentence. Why is it uh, uh, interesting for you? It touches, <laughs> it touches, what did you say? I say it touches different sectors. It uh, you couldn't understand the word. It? It. Yes. What? I'm referring to my job now. Okay, okay. Okay. Do you miss being a student? No. I would say that I don't miss being a student because I believe learning is a continuous thing. And then even with my job, I'm still learning. So I still consider myself as a student. So I don't have any parts All that right. I can say I've missed being a student so far. Very good answer. All right. Now, who would like to take the next turn for the third set of intro sets? 
Mami, yes, just breathe. Do you live in a house or a flat? I live in a house. It is a two-story building. Uh, my house has a uh, five rooms and also it is a one kitchen in front of the uh, in front of the main hall. Uh, there is a one garden which is a full. Okay, okay, of... okay. There is a one garden, a and one. Why do you have to use both the words? Sorry, there is a garden. Okay. Yes. Uh, what's your favorite room in your home? Uh, in my room, uh, if in my room there is my own room, which is my favorite. So I because I spend my all the time uh, there, and also uh, I do number of activities by sitting uh, by staying in my own room. Like I sometimes I do uh, I do study. Sometimes I uh, I spend my time by doing various other activities. Uh, like uh, by exploring my hobbies, listen to music, read books and others. Okay. While exploring my hobbies, listening to music. When you start with one word of ing, you continue with that ing. Okay? okay. Who do you live with? Uh, actually, I live with my parents. There are my parents and my sibling. Uh, as, uh, uh, so most of the time, I spend my time with my uh, uh, with my family by, by doing the uh, lot of chit chats. How long have you lived there? I have been living there since my childhood. Do you plan to live there a long time? Uh, yes, uh, as uh, I am planning to go to abroad for my higher education. Okay, there, is, yes. no, there is no preposition before the word abroad as I am planning to go abroad. Okay, as okay. I am planning to go abroad. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Um, uh, what uh, are the transport facilities to your hometown very good? Of course, the transportation facility of my hometown is very good. Uh, all the uh, all the people can easily access to any vehicle to go to the any farther farthest place. Okay. Uh, would you like to move to another place to live? No. Uh, no. I think I am not planning to go to. No, I am doing. Sorry, ma'am. Ma you are you, you are me. taking IELTS. You you should say I am planning to go abroad for my higher education, yes. but later on I would like to come back and live here only. Okay, like that you can say. Okay. All right. Next set of questions. Who would like to answer? May I? Yes. yes. Uh, what's the name of your hometown? Uh, I live in Husharpur. It's in Punjab. Uh, it's a small uh, town near um, in the Dwaba region of Punjab. Is it a so, town or a city? Yeah, it's a uh, city actually, a district. You can say city. City. I live in a city. Yeah. Okay. Please just uh, please describe your hometown a little. So it's uh, it is in Punjab, uh, in the region Dwabas, and. Uh, uh, it is a very calm city, I would say. Uh, very serene, like um, a lot of greenery. Uh, basically, it's not... Uh, nowadays, we see like uh, a lot of urbanization happening. So, uh, trees, uh, we get to see very less amount of greenery. But here, in my hometown, it is very pleasant um, uh, oh, oh. La landscape. Uh, do you like your hometown? Do you like your hometown? Yes, uh, I love it. A uh, main reason that my family lives there, and I have spent my uh, entire childhood there with my um, friends and family. So would I you, love it. There. Would you say it's an interesting place? Uh, it. Mm, there are. I can say there is not a, a not a lot of interesting things. Uh, in my uh, hometown. But uh, as it is nearby Himachal, so we get to explore a lot of hilly areas, I would say. All right. Uh, yeah. What do you like the most about your hometown? For me, it would be uh, the greenery, I can say. Like uh, the plants. Your, what's uh, your favorite part of your hometown? My favorite part second would be like i get to live with uh, like the memories i have and uh, uh, 
I get to live it, live there with my family. So uh, just here, it. you can make up certain things. Nobody is going to come and check. You can say there's a very nice mall in my hometown where people come and enjoy a lot. Okay. There's all you can say like that, and there's a wonderful park which has been maintained by an NRI. Say anything, make something. Okay. It's not making sense. Na favorite part of your hometown, you couldn't just make it up. Who's yeah, yeah. Come and check. Okay. You can say. Done. Done. Okay. Yeah, okay. Is there anything you okay. dislike about your hometown? Mm. Is there anything you dislike about your hometown? Is there anything you felt ever that oh that so, better uh, because that of this facility? Are there like any train services not... to your hometown? Yes, there are. Like uh, there is a railway station. Okay, that's it. But uh, does it connect all the trains? Most trains don't come there, or do they? Do all trains? Uh, not all the trains. Like some of them, like so that. You can say uh, that the uh, one thing I dislike is that all for any major or fast train we have to go to, uh, Jalandhar okay. or any other place to catch it. Right? Do you mm -hmm. have to go like that if you want to go by Shatabdi to Delhi? Right? Yeah, but yeah, right, right. Right. So right. that you can okay. say that that is a point. Okay. Okay. You can say yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Are there any tourist attractions in your hometown? Uh, yes, there is a small museum that is uh, like that holds. Uh, it is an art museum basically that holds uh, art, uh, like a different painting from different artists. So, like uh, one of the paintings that my grand father made like he's an artist too so it is also displayed there so it is a very like a uh, nice uh tourist spot where okay. tourists visit and uh, they enjoy so, a lot so would you like yeah. to live there in the future yes i would love to live there as it is still developing and uh, i would love to live there with my family as long as uh, for as long as i wish like very good to, so, Jasmine, uh, the bottom line or the carry home message for you is, uh, if there is nothing to say, you make up. You know, this, these sets of questions are asked to every alternate student. Hometown questions are there to all. Okay. So, do something you can speak okay. on very nicely. Okay? Okay. Done. Uh, all right. Next set of questions. Who who would like to answer? Shall I? Yes, of course. Who is that? Bhavna GT. <laughs> Uh, no, you've written iPhone only, so I don't come. Yeah, to... ma'am. Today I just uh, joined with my iPhone. I, I I'm actually I was busy in my office work, work, so that's why. Okay, okay, okay sure, ma'am. Play video games. Yes, I do play video games because these are, uh, these are specifically designed for younger people. And and now I am a working professional, so sometimes when I stressed up with my professional commitments, so during my night times I generally prefer to play video games so what that my brain functions faster. what kinds of video games do you play i play two three different type of video games namely gta yct and nowadays i'm a huge fan of pubg so whenever i play these kind of games i PUBG engrossed is, myself you can still play pubg isn't it banned in India? Well, uh, in my country, yes, it is ba uh, banned, but uh, there are different platforms from where a person can play PUBG and uh, by using a VPN and changing the home country to China or another, so I can play PUBG also. Is it good for young people to play video games? According to my perspective, it really varies from person to person. If they play video games in moderation, then I would say yes, it's really benefit to. It's uh, really beneficial. It really benefits, it, or it's really beneficial. Okay. It it it's really beneficial for them because it enhances their productivity and uh, uh, by uh, playing video games, they make a better person because it elevates their decisive and critical El thinking elevates, ability. Elevates it elevates their decision making. Okay. okay? All okay, right, next set of questions who would like to answer? Yes, anybody?
मैम ऑल द क्लासेस विल बी ऑनलाइन और इज देर एनी ऑफलाइन क्लासेस देर आर ऑफलाइन क्लासेस आल्सो वी आर टीचिंग इन जलंधर फगवाड़ा चंडीगढ़ मोहाली वेर आर ओके मैम इज देर एनी ब्रांच इन डेली और नोएडा नो अनफॉर्चुनेटली नो ओके ओके नो इशू तो मैम आई विल बी अवेलेबल ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर यू ऑल राइट यू वुड लाइक टू आंसर द नेक्स्ट सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस no no ma'am actually my one of my friend is already taken and he is also cracked the ice so he referred he suggested no, me i would you like to I, answer I the question sets now that's what i'm asking no no ma'am no oh? why not you are speaking pretty pretty well all right who would like to answer the next set of questions can i try ma'am yes sure sheena why not do you offer <laughs> wear sunglasses uh no um yeah yes uh, whenever i go outside like uh, for uh, shopping or any kind of activities i use uh, sunglasses because uh, if i didn't wear that one uh, i felt too uh, i feel uh, stressed to I, my eyes i wasn't i wasn't paying attention sheena can you answer this question again uh, do you often wear sunglasses Yes, I you you when I, whenever I go outside for shopping or any other activities, I usually use uh, sunglasses. It gives a uh, cooling effect to my eyes. Otherwise, I feel too tired after coming back from outside. Do you spend a lot of money on sunglasses? Uh, I don't purchase always, but whenever uh, when I buy one, I spend. a little bit more because i use that sunglasses for a long time okay. so do you give sunglasses as a gift uh i don't prefer to give uh, sunglasses as a gift because uh actually uh, we need their size and uh, their preferences so we don't know anything about that so I don't prefer to give a gift as a sunglass as a gift. Why do you wear sunglasses? Uh, it gives a cooling effect to my eyes, and uh, um, if I didn't wear, I feel so tired when I go out and come back. If I don't wear, if I didn't wear is wrong. If I don't wear, I feel tired. Okay, my okay. eyes are burning and I feel tired. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Can you answer the next set of questions? next set of questions yes aman minakshi richa shashi jashan yes ma'am good evening ma'am good evening richu okay um, when did you start using social media well uh, i started using social media when uh, i started my gradu uh, graduation in the year 2015 okay do you think you spend too much time on social media no i do not spend much time on social media as i have rest uh, restricted my uh, time of using social media and i have uh, i i can Uh, I I compensate. Uh, I do not want to compensate with my studies, so I have made a routine of using. I do not want to compensate with my studies is wrong. I do not want to uh, compensate with my compromise. Okay. Compromise I do not want to compromise with my studies. Yes, I do not wish to compromise with my study. Not compensate. Okay. That's okay. Okay. Uh, do you do your friends use social media? uh definitely yes i have seen uh, most of my friends using social media uh, it is not social uh, it is social 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 media yes. social media yes all right as most of I... my friends are active uh, during late hours uh, what do you, what do people find... often do on social media um In, in these uh, in these days i have yes. found most of the people scrolling uh, uh, short videos on social media okay all right uh, uh do you think okay so next set of questions who would like to answer yeah ma'am all right who is that and this side is farid 
okay do you like eating cakes yeah ma'am definitely i like it yeah cake. yeah <laughs> yeah is a is an american <laughs> word yes okay 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 ma'am actually ma'am i am a us it recruiter so my accent is little bit us yeah so it is yes so it is yes you have to say yes okay do you okay like, okay do you like eating cakes yeah yeah ma'am uh, so yes ma'am <laughs> all right all right so why do you like eating cakes yeah ma'am uh, i have to improve my taste a bit so oh. that's why most of the time ma'am in uh, sweets uh, cake we can cake is different category from that so that's why i can say but yeah. you can just answer very simply i like eating cakes because i find them very tasty okay there yeah, yeah. cakes i, I like i like cheese cake i like um, truffle yeah. chocolate truffle i like that i like this you can say so many simple things okay yeah. so improve okay. your taste buds that is that <laughs> that doesn't make sense to me okay yeah, yeah. i was thinking uh, about the quality of the cake so <laughs> Do you know how I, to bake I a cake? I'm not able to explain that time. Do you know how to bake a cake? No, no, ma'am, I don't know. All right. When do you usually eat cakes? On any occasionally, any events like birthday celebration, anniversary. Okay. What is your yeah. favorite kind of cake? Uh, ma'am, uh, I like uh, uh, grapes and uh, chocolate cake. I like. All right. Do you prefer to save money? Achha, next set of questions. All right. Okay. Who's who's going to answer? Next set of questions. Can I? Yes. Yes, Abdul. Yes, ma'am. Abdul, you were supposed to send me writing tasks. What happened? Ma'am, I did it. I did it. I forgot. Ma'am, I did it. 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 I चार दिन पहले पूछ रहे हो हाँ और फिर मैं, मैं थोड़ा बिजी हो गया था मेरे मैचेस थे क्या कितना बिजी हो गए एक क्लिक करके भेजना था लिखा हुआ कि आया मैं घर पर लिखा आई वाज नॉट इन होम इसलिए ओके ओके चलो ओके डू यू प्रेफर टू सेव मनी और स्पेंड मनी यस आई यूजुअली लाइक टू सेव मनी Uh, but sometimes it is really important uh, for me to spend money on my necessary things so i usually spend it uh, what do you think about payment apps on on or mobile payments i think it is one of the most convenient way to pay money and it is really easy and comfortable and how nowadays do you, uh, how do you save money uh, i save money by uh, just not uh, wasting it on uh, uh, I'm not wasting it on particular things which are not necessary for me and which are not required for uh, daily uh, uh, life food so i just save money in do this you, thing do you do you use a credit card to buy things uh, yes i usually use my father's uh, credit card to buy things uh, and it is really a convenient way to use do you think cash will still be popular in the future uh no i don't think so Ca uh, cash will be popular in the future because nowadays people are trusting on technology so it is really uh, a good way of payment and people are uh, up uh, updating themselves all right up very good okay who would like to answer the next set of questions Yes. Anybody? Shashi. Yes, ma'am. All right. Do you often lose things? Uh, well, I'm a organized person, so I do not uh lose things. But I remember when I was a child, that time I lost many things. I used to lose many things. I lost me. ओके व्हेन आई वाज अ चाइल्ड आई यूज्ड टू लूज मेनी थिंग्स मैं बहुत चीजें घूमती थी मेरी ठीक है व्हाट कैन वी डू टू अवॉइड लूजिंग थिंग्स अ पर्सन कैन बी वेल ऑर्गेनाइज्ड दे शुड रिमेंबर दैट थिंग्स वेयर दे हैव केप्ट इट एंड 
key stand should be there at the home just to key just to keep keys properly all right so uh, what do you, what do we do to avoid losing things is there should be specific place for specific things and after using one must make it a point to keep the thing back at that place okay yes <laughs> Why do some people tend to lose things more often than others? <clears throat> According to me, these kind of people, they have short memory. They do not remember about their useful things. They uh, sometimes place their keys, their cards anywhere in their home. or uh, this, any yes, Some people place. are more careless than others. You can say some people are meticulous in their, you know. Habit. But you know, you said according to me, according to me is wrong. According to is always third person, according to him or according to somebody else. If you have to say, you say, I I think, yeah, I believe, I, I, you know, according to me is okay. not the right English. What will you do if you find something lost by others? It depends on the situation. If I find something uh like on station or any public transport that time i will firstly go to the police station to submit that particular item and if i will find something at my workplace or aega. at my class will me i got it if i find something okay if i find something uh -huh. uh, in my class or at my workplace that time i uh, will ask from my uh Ma'am, from my friends. Uh, from my friends or my colleagues. Will friends. Will aega, no, no, will aega, I will not come, ma'am. No, I will ask. No, that that. No, I will ask. That time I ask. I will ask. If I find something okay, in my workplace, I'll ask my colleagues. Okay. All right. Okay, ma'am. Uh, next set of things. Uh, next set of questions. Who would like to answer? Yeah, ma'am. All right, who is that? And this side is Mohammed Fariz again. Okay, okay. Yeah. What's your favorite color? <laughs> My favorite color is black. Why? Ma'am, it it absorbs the energy most of the time. So? So, ma'am, and it absorbs the energy and provides the energy to our body if we are uh, wearing the black colors. All right. It, so yeah, you... it protects the ultraviolet rays. Okay. Do you usually wear clothes in your favorite color? Uh, Ma'am, I wear all. I used to always uh, wear to like uh, black color jeans. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Are there any colors that have a special meaning in your country? Uh, Ma'am, uh, in our country, it's a multicolor. Is uh, it's a here is diversity. So different different types of person like the different different types of colors. Okay, so uh, you can say where which which is your country? Uh, I am in India right now. So you are an Indian. So you can say there are three colors which hold a special meaning. They are the colors of our tricolor, the flag. There's yeah, yeah. White green. and uh, <laughs> saffron, mm -hmm. white and green. Saffron starts for. Uh, you know, you can say uh, yeah. green stands for prosperity, white is yeah. for, and you, you can say that. White is okay? white for peace. Yeah, my mind. You can say that, okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> um, do you think different types of people like different colors? Yeah, ma'am. It's up to the people what type of the Okay. Colors they, so they you want. Practice speaking yes instead of yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Man. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Uh, next set of questions. No, no, ma'am. Right. Next set of questions. Who will answer? Can I? Okay. Yes, of course. Of course, Vikrat. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Why do some people have a better memory while others just don't? Well, I believe that uh, each and every person have their own memory power. Uh, most of the time, some... Is the uh, question. Some... That is the question. So, why do some people have a better memory while others don't? And each and every person has. Have is wrong. Okay, mm -hmm. has. So, wh why do some people have a better memory than others? What What would you answer it? 
because uh, some people have good IQ and they can learn things very easily and whereas on the other hand um, some has faced some difficulties to learn things and they forget so easily and you know you can see the answer may lie in genetics also there are uh, and some people have inborn memory power and then you can also say that nowadays memory one can be trained to have a good memory okay memory is like a muscle that is the answer given in my book okay why do more people rely on cell phones to remember things uh i believe that because uh, cell phones are very convenient to learn things because we can save number of data in cell phones as well as we can data. also data is it cannot be counted you cannot say number of data a lot of data okay a lot of okay ma'am are you a lot of data are you good at memorizing things uh well yes definitely i am good at memorizing things but sometimes i forgot name because forget, forget. sometimes Sometimes forget. forget names, okay? okay? All right. How do you ever, have you ever forgotten something important? Have you ever uh, forgotten something important? Uh, yes. Uh, when I was pursuing my graduation, so yeah. there was MS3, uh, my sessional exams were go uh, was going on and I was forget to attend my exam. I forgot to. Okay. I forgot to I forgot to attend my exam. All right. Next set of questions. May I, ma'am? Yes, of course. You know. Do you often feel bored? Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, I often feel bored uh, to stay at home for a long time. Uh, okay. What? When would? When do you feel bored? Uh, I uh, you, I often feel I often feel bored uh, while doing uh, work on a single work on a single thing uh, like uh, cooking all the time and okay. doing what? household chores. What, what do you do when you feel bored? Uh, when I feel bored, uh, I usually go uh, out for a walk. Uh, and uh, also uh, sit uh, in a in a in a greenery. Okay. In a park, or uh, read a book if okay. I want to stay inside. All right. Um, do you think childhood is boring or adulthood is boring? Definitely, adulthood is boring. Right. Because uh, we have we have lots of uh, responsibilities uh, to do. Uh, and responsibilities would uh, mean you don't get time to be bored, wouldn't it? <laughs> you can say childhood is interesting because there are no worries. You can play all the time and you can do whatever you want. I, I want, yeah. You can say like that. All right. Yeah. Next set of questions. Next set of questions. Ma'am, can I? Yes. Do you, uh, do a lot of people like music? Uh, yes, uh, usually every person likes music. and every person, like... every person is singular, so likes music. Okay? Likes. Likes. What kind of music do you listen to? I usually uh, listen to, uh, I usually uh, listen to pop music. Uh, it is really interesting and I feel happy listening to it. Is it easy to learn music? Uh, no, I don't think so. It is really easy to learn music. Uh, but nowadays, it is uh, really uh, convenient and people can learn music uh, uh, while, while seeing uh, any video on social media. All right. Do you have music lessons? Did you have music lessons at school? Uh, yes, in my primary school, I used to have uh, music classes. Uh, our teacher used to give us basic uh, information about instrument and how it is operated. So uh, we used to instruments, have... plural, you can say, right? instruments, or you can name an instrument, okay, which was there. All right, next set of questions. Any volunteers? Uh, may I? 
Yes, Jasmine, of course. Okay. Is the city where you live crowded? Uh, no, the city where I live is not that crowded. Oh. Um, because the population there is um, fine and uh, the traffic crews are also strict. So there's no traffic jam. Okay, so it's not a crowded city. Is there a crowded place near where you live? Uh, not really because like the roads are wide and a crowded place uh, in the markets we can say when uh, like uh, it's a holiday we can say it is a crowded uh, place but not as such a very crowded place yeah. do you like crowded places I personally don't like crowded places because I feel very uh, congested there and I uh feel very um uncomfortable okay do most people like crowded places i think no one likes um crowded places because they're they, generally people feel very uncomfortable being in a crowded place rather when, than when, like, when 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 was the last time you were in a crowded place the last time i was in a crowded place when i had to <clears throat> shop for uh, uh something and uh, like uh, it was a sunday so the store was all packed with people okay and, uh, so the last time i was in a uh, i was in a crowded place was the okay. another was there okay all okay. right next set of questions anybody can i Yes, of course. Um, who is your favorite celebrity in your country? Um, well, uh, I like the Salman Khan because the aura of Salman Khan is very good and he is also popular in all Bollywood as well as uh, he also rules the Bollywood. What kind want of to... people do you often see in the news? Well, there are different types of people who comes in news, come. like uh, now come in news. Like okay. nowadays, uh, uh, IPL is going on, so the mostly cricket uh, cricketers are come in the news. Yes, by are there are are come is wrong? Cricketers okay are seen yes. in news. All are right. seen in news. Uh, do you pay attention to famous people in the news? Yes, definitely. Uh, when I um, when I saw the news, then there when are. I see the news. When I saw any. When, when I see the news, there are a number of times. What I got better uh, word? Okay. When I watch news. When I, I watch think. news. Huh? Okay. When I watch news, and there are a number of times, uh, some famous people are covering in the news by. Are covered in the news, not covering. Are, they are not covering. They are being covered. Okay. So they are covered okay. in the news. All right. Do you believe that the news about famous people in the media is true? Uh, no, I don't believe it because news cha uh, news channels are uh, channels are just uh, increase their popularity in between yeah, among TRP. the people. TRP is the TRP. word. TRP. Channels wants to increase their TRP, so they so they sometimes sensationalize the news. So the news are not always true. Okay. They are okay, sensationalized by the media. Translation media. Sensationalized. Okay. Trans Would you like to be famous person in the news? I'm sorry, ma'am. Would you like to be a famous person in the news? Uh, no, I don't want to uh, be famous in the news because uh, I don't want to come in front of the public. All right. Uh, Bye. Uh, because I love to uh, live live alone and because I like my privacy. Okay. Yes. I don't want yes, my private life to become public. Public. Okay. That is it. Okay. Is uh, next set of questions. Anybody else? May I, ma'am? Yes. Is there an advertisement that made an impression on you when you were a child? Um, when I was when I was child, I used to 
ਸੀ ਇਹੀ ਨਾ when i was child when i was a child when i was child 5.5 when i was a child 7 plus oh when i was a child yes uh, i used to watch i used to watch uh, an advertisement uh, that was related to the uh, chocolate uh, the kismi bar okay uh, so i used to tell my father to bought me that chocolate, buy. Uh, who, chocolate who is always followed by first first form of verb to buy me okay to buy me okay do you see a lot of advertising on trains or other transport uh yes uh, i often uh, uh, i often see lots of advertisement uh, on the trains uh, and lots of uh, pamphlets uh, all right distributed by the people do you like advertisements But to be honest uh, i don't like uh, advertisement uh, so that uh, i i bought a youtube premium for my phone so that okay. i can avoid the advertisement what kind of advertising do you like uh, most of the time uh, i like the advertisement related to my work right. uh, which help which will help in my future all right very good so next set of questions would like to answer ma'am may i yes shashi how do you go to work or school uh, you are working right how do you go to work uh, well my workplace is just 12 minute walk from my home so okay. i go there by walking on foot not by i go there on foot. foot okay uh, what is the most popular means of transportation in your hometown uh, in my hometown there are a lot of transportation facilities available for the residents like there are bus services available and train services apart from that there are some rickshaws or three wheelers available for people just to cover the short distance how far is it okay you you have already answered do you think people will drive more in the future uh, i don't think so because with the advancement of technology automated or driverless cars are gaining popularity okay. so i can say not that in future not technology okay correct the pronunciation it's technology technology yeah not technology technology okay okay ma'am all right next set of questions ma'am i will speak all right um do you go my exam is on saturday ma'am all right do you do you go running a lot uh actually i do not go for run a lot but in not the running. morning time for I, for is running. a preposition for is a preposition after any preposition you use the ing form i don't go for running if you just say i don't go running a lot that is also correct okay yeah. where do you usually go running uh there is a park which is just a stone thrown from my home and usually i, I go to that park Rashi, for what running what have you done what have you done stone thrown ab apne idiom use kara aur sari gadbad kar di दोबारा बोलो यही इडियम इसके साथ बोलो वेयर डू यू इडियम नहीं बोला नहीं नहीं सही नहीं बोला बोलो दोबारा फिर मैं बताती हूँ वेयर डू यू यूजली गो रनिंग बोलो आई गो रनिंग इन अ पार्क व्हिच इज जस्ट अ स्टोन थ्रोन अवे फ्रॉम माय होम ऑल राइट व्हिच इज जस्ट अ स्टोन थ्रो अवे आपने दो अवे आपने दोनों टाइम इडियम गलत बोला है हिंदी में कहावत है आ बैल बुझे बार आप उसको सही सिद्ध कर रहे हो आप इसको आप इडियम के बिना कैसे बोल सकते हो बोलो देर अ पार्क विच इज नियर टू माई होम नियर टू टू लगा दिया वो भी गलत हो गया पहले तो आपने साढ़े पांच का बोला स्टोन थ्रो करके साढ़े पांच पे ले आए नियर के बाद टू लगा दिया तो वो भी साढ़े पांच पे ही रह गया ओके अब सबसे ईजी वे कैसे बोल सकते थे देर ए पार्क विच इज वेरी नियर माई वेरी नियर माई होम नियर के बाद टू नहीं लगता ओके 
नियर माय होम यस अब 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 देखो आप जितना आप बढ़ाने की कोई कल है आपका स्पीकिंग सिंपल से सिंपल बोलोगे तो अच्छे बैंड आएंगे ओके इडियम डालोगे तो आप एल मुझे मार कहावत सच सही हो जाएगी ठीक है बिल्कुल डालने की जरूरत सैटरडे को है मैम हां सिंपल बोलो बिल्कुल देयर इज नो नीड टू यूज इडियम्स एंड अदर थिंग्स ओके और दोनों बार आपने गलत बोला है दोनों बार आपने स्टोन थ्रोन बोला है दोनों बार ओके व्हिच इज रॉन्ग अह व्हाट डू यू थिंक ऑफ रनिंग एज अ स्पोर्ट रनिंग इज द बेस्ट एक्सरसाइज Uh, because it helps us to increase uh, our muscular strength and a person can fit feel themselves fit as a fiddle if they run a lot all right to apne matlab bol nahi bolne idioms proverbs okay chalo i hope um, ye acha fit as fiddle a person dobara bolna a person can feel themselves fit when they go for running फिट अब ठीक था सेंटेंस अब सेवन बैंड था फिट एस फिडल छह बैंड था चॉइस आपकी है ओके व्हाट यू डू सो दैट्स इट दैट इज अ गुड लेसन फॉर यू ओके एनीबॉडी एल्स वुड लाइक टू आंसर नेक्स्ट सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस ऑल राइट देन मैम कैन आई हां हां चैटिंग डू यू लाइक चैटिंग विद फ्रेंड्स Uh, yes, I like chatting with fans because most of the time when I uh, when I want to talk with my fans, then mostly we do chatting on the phone, and there are a number of social uh, apps through which we can contact with each other by contact, chatting. Contact each other. Connect with each contact, other. Contact each other. Con, Ma'am, con contact each other. Yes. What do you usually chat about with friends? uh well uh, there is no specific talk uh during the day whenever we uh, whenever we feel free and we want to chat uh, chit and chat with uh, with my friends then i can chat with them with number of uh, different topics <laughs> aapne kya answer bola hai what can you... i repeat yes but what do you usually chat about with friends um well uh, i can chat with my friends on uh, different topics like uh, about about our career as well can as tha mere question mein can tha no ma'am to so, aap can kyu laga rahe ho see these are there are eight modal verbs can could will would may might shall should agar question mein ho tabhi answer mein lagao na aap can ka to question hi nahi tha maine pucha aap kya chat karte ho aap kehte ho main kar sakta hu ye chat Why can? Okay, so it was such a simple answer. We chat about the latest technological gadgets. We chat about, you know, friend. We chat about uh, what is new in our lives. We whatever you have to say, yeah. just simple, right? Okay. Can okay. Rani dal ne beech mein. Do you prefer to chat with a group of people or with only one friend? Do you well, uh. Huh? Well, uh, well, I have different, uh, well, I have group, uh, different, different groups on my uh WhatsApp, in which uh most of the my friends are available, and it is very happening and uh enjoyable when we talk in group because each and every one can participate in that uh particular chat and we can discuss a lot of things very with each good. other. This is a very good answer. Okay. Do you argue with friends? Uh yes definitely because most of my friends are from my childhood and whenever we talk indefinitely on something uh we stuck on that and we argue with each other. All right. We argued with each other. We argue with each other. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you prefer to communicate face to face or via social media? um well i believe that uh, face to face conversation is best be because we can also see the expression of other person and we can talk with each other freely and it's a good way to communicate with people when we are near to each other near each other near ke baad to near 
ओके मैम नियर ईच अदर ओके so uh, this was the intro sets class today and i hope you've all uh, enjoyed the class and learned something or the other even if you haven't participated by listening to others also you learn right and most of the students here in the group have spoken very nicely i'm very happy about that and uh, keep it up work hard and those who have your exams near uh, wish you all the best okay and do share Thank your you questions in the group when you when you are done with your exam okay ओके मैम 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 जैसे अगर कोई क्वेश्चन मतलब ऐसा पूछे जिसके बारे में बिल्कुल नॉलेज नहीं है तो उसको स्टार्ट करने के लिए मतलब क्या लाइन मेरे से कोई कोई ऐसा एग्जांपल दो फिर मैं आपको आंसर करके बताती हूँ मैम लाइक उसने कुछ भी पूछ लिया कि डू यू प्रेफर टू सी स्काई बट मैंने कभी ऐसे देखा ही नहीं नहीं तो, उसने मतलब... पूछा डू यू प्रेफर टू सी द स्काई अब आपकी इंग्लिश जज हो रही है ना आंसर की इंटेग्रिटी नहीं You can say no. I don't often. Uh, I don't prefer seeing the sky. Okay. Yeah. You can say mm -hmm. well. Yes. I love to. You know. See the stars twinkling at night. Okay. Ma'am. Ma'am. अगर जैसे कोई strange question पूछ लिया हो कि जिसके बारे में नहीं पता. So मैं उसको say, start I'm, कर. I'm afraid I don't have much knowledge on this topic. I, I see when you are speaking that also you are showing your English. They are not testing okay. your general knowledge. They are testing your English. If you don't know about a topic, just say you don't know about it. Okay, ma'am. Okay, don't hesitate. Don't worry. It's your English being judged, not your general knowledge. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, मतलब इसमें according according to me use नहीं करना. I believe I think. According to me is wrong English. According to always third person के लिए use होता है तो. Okay. According मतलब... to my opinion, ठीक है. I believe that ठीक है. I think ठीक है. I feel ठीक है. But according to me is wrong English. Indian English. हम लोग बोलते हैं पर ये गलत है. मैं yeah? मतलब ये question हम start ऐसे कर सकते हैं कि like कि I am afraid uh, I don't have any knowledge about I'm this question. I'm afraid I don't have but, much knowledge. But if much knowledge about it, but if I have to answer, then मतलब कुछ भी. हाँ फिर आप कुछ भी उसके लिए बोल दो. ठीक है. अच्छा ओके वो गलत नहीं है पर मुझे लगता है मतलब वो ज्यादा अच्छा बनाने के लिए हम बोलते हैं पर वो जितना सिंपल बोलोगे ना उतना आप अपने फ्लुएंसी पे और ग्रामेटिकल एरर्स आपकी लेस होगी ऑल माय स्टूडेंट्स सच बता रही हूँ ऑल माय स्टूडेंट्स जिनके आठ साढ़े आठ आए हैं उन्होंने मुझे आके बोला हमें ऐसे लगा एग्जामिनर नहीं है फ्रेंड बोल रहा है ऐसे जैसे चैटिंग करके आए उसके साथ बिल्कुल मैम कुछ भी नहीं बोला साढ़े कैसे आ गए समझ ही नहीं आ रही सिंपल बोल के आए थे बिल्कुल ऐसे ऐसे डायलॉग मैंने सुने ओवर द पास्ट इयर्स, ओके एक ने तो आके बोला मैं भी हंस रहा था एग्जामिनर भी हंस रहा था जो सिंपल से क्वेश्चंस पूछे मैं मेरे तो हंस हंस के जवाब दिए सारे साढ़े आठ बैठ स्पीकिंग इमेजिन This is, you know, we we have a misconception that we have to speak complex sentences. We have to inf incorporate a lot of big words. Only then we'll get a good score, good band score. That's totally wrong. ठीक है? Simple से simple बोलो, अच्छा बोलो. Idea सही होए. English show करो अपनी grammatical errors कम होएंगी if you'll not focus on big words. ठीक है? Yes, ma'am. चलो. All the best. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.